Good morning, YouTube. It's Ross, Franklin County Forge. Back out on the addition today. Um, last little bit you saw, I finished pouring uh, my last three piers down there, my last two, three piers. And now I've gotten all my brackets made and I've got this one here placed and I'm getting ready to drill my holes to anchor that down. That one there is just sitting there. It's not even really placed. I just got it sitting on there. But uh, that's what my bracket looks like. I'll show you real quick. It's a quarter inch. This is actually five inch stock, bar stock. And then uh, I laid it all out. We punched three quarter inch holes in the sides. That's to give me a little bit of wiggle room for actually lining up when I drill through my post. And then the bottom, I put some five eighths holes. Uh, I'm gonna put, <clears throat> I'm gonna use uh, half inch anchor screws, six inches long. That way I've got plenty of embedment into the concrete. Uh, six inches are quite a bit more expensive than, you know, if you got three or four inches, but I wanted to make sure I had, they were, and the concrete plenty. So, what we're doing is, starting with the corner, obviously, get my placement this way, and then I'll go off the line there. And then I'll take my tape measure, and I'll, I'll hook it down here, and we'll go 10 foot from the outside of that one to the center of this one. And what I'll do is I'll mark my center on here. And that'll get my location this way and then use my string line to get my location this way and i've got a level two just to make sure that you know there's nothing funky with it since my string line's not right at the bottom and we'll just go down through there here's what i'm using simpson strong tie uh, titan hd screw anchors these are six inches long half inch diameter I'm going to have four in each bracket. I laid everything out, marked the holes, then I actually just took the bit, and I didn't pound on it or anything, but just put a little divot in each hole. Uh, if you ever drilled concrete, sometimes they, they want to walk a little bit when you first get started. And uh, so hopefully that'll help. I also measured and I put a piece of tape here at the end so I know when to stop drilling. And I put, a, that's at about seven and a half inches, which is actually deeper than what I really want. However, um, I probably will bring my air hose out here and blow the holes out. Uh, but if I don't get all the dust, I want a, at least a little bit of room down there for that dust to fall so I don't bottom the, the anchor out before I tighten it down. I'm gonna get the, extension cord out here, get the drill, and we're gonna drill our first four holes. And it worked out, so we're right in the middle of where I poured the concrete, so that, that's perfect. Sometimes, you know, you can get a little off center, you get close to the edge, and you can run into trouble. But for what I'm doing here, it's not a big deal either way. I think we're ready to try anchoring this thing down.
one tight. The others are probably within an inch of the bottom. And it's to where I can't even hardly turn it anymore. So I did go get my impact wrench. I'm just going to try to work it a little bit. And see what happens. Oh my goodness. It's not even going in with an impact wrench. My big gun. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. I never ever dreamed they'd be this hard to get in. We got them in. Let's get our string line back up and we'll mark this one here. We'll measure and mark that one out. Get the holes drilled for it. We got everything put on except for this last one over here. They're all in, anchored, placed. Got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number eight's there. And the reason I didn't do that one is uh, can't quite get them bent completely, 100%, 90 on the brake. So I brought them home, uh, put them on the tort, put the torch to them, got them the rest of the way, and then I ran out of acetylene. So uh, then I went today to get acetylene, and air gas doesn't have any acetylene. So more of that supply chain stuff, I guess. But anyways, they said Wednesday, which this is Thursday. So next Wednesday, they're going to have some more grab this so we'll continue then uh, in the meantime I may end up change changing part of my plan instead of using 2 by 12 headers I may use a steel I-beam as a header so I've got to weigh the pros and cons there and I'll just have to weld them all together uh, there's six foot I-beams but I'm not really concerned about welded seams if the i beam strong enough then the weld will be strong enough one more look at it we're moving right along Next step, once we finish that one, next step is to put our posts up. Once we get our posts up, we're gonna get our header on. And once we get to that point, we'll be ready to tie into the building. So then I'll take my gutter down, cut this metal down, and I'll take, I don't know if it's here. I'll end up, I'll take my two by four down, put my two by 12 up, and we'll be ready to put our rafters up. We are heading over to Bethany's sister's house and we're gonna have dinner and maybe watch a movie or something just kind of spend some time with some family and then tomorrow which is christmas eve we're gonna be going to my dad's house with my sister their kids our kids we're gonna have christmas there and uh so that this was kind of the start of christmas celebration for us so all right guys i'll see you next time thank you for watching so much guys uh it really is a blessing 
Uh, God bless you. God bless America. Franklin County Forge out.